gotta tell him now that we can work this out. Please. Please. What? You want me to beg? You're the smartest guy I ever met. And you're too stupid to see. He made up his mind ten minutes ago. Do what you're gonna do. Sean for 4JLU, 4 Geeks Like You. You're now tuning to my review of Breaking Bad Season 5 being Episode 14 titled Ozzy Mandias. Now, before I get started, I'm going to let you guys know that there is a shitload of noise outside because one, it's New York City, there's always something going on, and two, there's always construction. So, I would like to apologize to you guys ahead of time because it is really loud outside and New York City is a bitch. So, moving forward, you guys know that Hank is gone. And I definitely showed you that scene in the beginning because it was so powerful. I think that was the most standout moment in this episode, for me at least. Because you know what? Hank was pretty much being a dick towards the end, but he was doing it for good reasons. I mean, yeah, he was pretty much putting people's lives on the line, but you know what? His pride never wavered. His his goal never wavered. You know, he called his wife, and it's sort of like he knew on the inside, like, listen... I might not make it out of here, or something might happen, you know, but just to let you know, you know, I love you. But, I mean, when he turned to Walt, and Jack had the gun to his head, and he goes, you're the smartest man I know, but you're not smart enough to realize that Jack was going to kill me 10 minutes ago, and it was like all the pleading that Walt did, even giving up his money that was in the desert, really didn't matter. Because you know what? Jack literally was going to kill um, Hank anyway. And he did. Because, he, I mean, Hank he turns to Jack and he says, do what you got to do. And Jack kills him. But you know what? Hank never pleaded for his life. He, he said, what do you, what you want me to, to, to beg? Like, come on, man. Like, I, I love that scene, man. So, Hank is gone. But you know what? He, he would definitely not be remembered. And he was definitely um, a, a great character. So, moving forward... Um, they find Jesse, or Walt finds Jesse, and he's like, you know what, yeah, you, you gotta go. So they pull Walt out, I mean, they pull Jesse out, right? And after they pull Jesse out, Hank gives him a nod, like, yeah, kill this motherfucker. And then Todd comes out of nowhere, and he's like, hey, uncle, um, yeah, you, we, we might want to keep him around a, a lot, because he, he's my buddy, and um, he, he knows a lot. Plus, you know, we're, we're cool. What, 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 what? You're taking away... The moment I want to see. I want to see Jesse gone. And that was a moment right there. I mean, it was too easy a little bit because you, you're realizing that Walt just gave him a nod. And you're like, yeah, this is going to be too too easy. Too many people are dying already in this episode. And the freaking uh, Breaking Bad shit didn't even come up. So what the hell is going on here? So, um, yeah, they, they give Jesse a pass. But Jack still takes all of Walt's money. But then he turns around and says, you know what? I'm going to leave you a barrel. Because you know what? You're pretty cool. But... We need to shake on it. Gives him a shake, moves forward. We get to Skyler, Marie, and Walt Jr. And Marie, I wish somebody would pop her in the head because she's all up in their biz. She's like, listen, I want you to give me all those DVDs that made Hank look like a bad guy. Do you understand? Do you understand? And Skyler's like, yes. And she's like, and I want you to tell Walt Jr. And that scene, had it, it was a long time coming. You know, they sit down and they talk to Walt. He's like, nope. My dad ain't like that. You guys are full of bullshit. All right? So Walt Jr. still doesn't believe it. He's like, fuck it, you know? My dad ain't no drug dealer. Walt goes home. Walt Sr. goes home, right? He's packing up all the stuff. Skyler and Walt Jr. get to the house. And he's like, listen, I need you guys to get in here. You know, we have to pack up. There's arguing back and forth. There's a knife pull. Walt Jr. does the most dumbest. I mean, I understand the situation. But I was still like, are you fucking kidding me? He calls the cops. He's like, yeah, you know what? My dad just pulled a knife on my mom. He's yelling. 
He's dangerous. And I'm like, oh, my God, are you fucking kidding me? Why is all this happening like this, man? Like, Walt Jr., you too, man. I mean, I, I, you was a good character, dude. I understand you're like a good Samaritan and you don't want your mom to get hurt. But come on, man. Your mom is just as crooked as your father. So anyway, um, Walt Sr. leaves, but he takes the baby with him. And then he goes in the car. He drives away. Skylar's crying. She chases after him. But you know what Skylar does? Yeah, she calls the cops. I mean, well, she doesn't call them because Walt Jr. did. But she's actually there with the cops, right? And um, Hank, I mean, Walt calls. He calls the house, and he's like, listen, Skylar, I told you not to cross me. I told you. And he's just going in. And she got people there that are, that are like, you know, trying to trace the landline. She's like, I'm sorry. And he's like, I told you not to cross me, you stupid bitch. And I'm like, oh, give it to her, man, because she deserves it. Then she's like, I just want you to tell me, you know, what happened? What happened? You know, what happened to Hank? And Walt Sr. is like, Hank is gone. He's never coming back. And his wife is there crying. I'm like, yeah, you stupid. I fucking, oh, God, somebody just shoot her, man. I'm like, ah. But, um, yeah, Walt is just like, he, he, he's crying while he's saying it. He's basically taking the blame for Hank dying on himself. And um, he's, he's basically telling um, Skyler that, listen, I, I sort of, I killed Hank. But it's what he really didn't, but in a way he did. So he's taking the blame for himself, like I just said. So um, after the call, he just bangs her on. He's like, listen, you cross me again, you'll end up like Hank. Boom! Boom! So after that, um, we get a scene where in the firehouse and the firemen are there, the, the trucks are all blanking, acting up, man. It, Walt actually left his baby at the firehouse. Eh, too cliche. I mean, that 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 happens a lot. But he actually left his, his daughter in a, a firehouse, you know, because he didn't want to take her with him wherever he's going. And um, after that scene, right, he's in the same place where Jesse is because, remember, that mysterious guy comes and he uh, takes you wherever you got to go and... He takes Walt away, and, and, and it goes off right there. I mean, wow, this episode, you know when you're drawn into an episode, and it's like, in your mind, it's still fresh, like you don't want it to end, you're like, yeah, it just started, and then it ends, and you're like, the, the fuck? It was an hour? Nah, man, it just felt like 15 minutes, come on, come on, come on, don't lie to me, bring it on. That's how it felt, man. I, this episode was great. I would give this a 5.5. 50 billion if I could, man. I mean, it was just so perfect. Everything um, really just meshed together perfectly. Nothing was forced. The scene between Hank and Walk in the, in, in the desert was great. You know, Hank is now on the run. Oh, man. I mean, I can only imagine what's going to happen next week. And I don't watch the, the, the previews. So, um, guys, what did you think, man? Did you enjoy this episode? What did you think about um, Hank going out? Um, what did you think about Walt Jr. calling the cops on his father? Uh, what did you think is going to happen between Hank right now? And do you think that Jack and his team are the ones that are going to mess up his house and do everything that, you know, that's there, um, Heisenberg and all that? Let me know below, guys. And again, this is Sean from 4JLU, 4 Geeks Like You. Stay tuned for more reviews, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. Have a good one.